Hello and uh, welcome again to this revision uh, that I'm doing to support you with your exam. So between now and when we take the biology paper, I am going to zoom in on B1 questions. Uh, depending on what, which exam board you're doing, if you ask me, I'll do it. So this video that I'm doing right now as, um, is, uh, was requested for by a student who said she's doing the AQA and I should talk about the heart in terms of the AQA. So I pulled up the AQA specification and this is what he says. So I'm just going to explain and, uh, talk, and talk about the highlights, what you need to remember about the heart. And obviously those are the, what, those are the things that will be um, tested on on the exam paper. So the heart is divided into four chambers. Right, you have the upper two chambers, which are the atrium. I didn't want to do a lot of labeling. Uh, that's why I left it out. So you have the atrium. All right. And you have the ventricles. Okay. So that's the atrium. That's another atrium. These two are the ventricles. Sometimes students say they struggle with remembering which is the right and the left hand side. I have a very simple way of, remind, of, re, of reminding you, of helping you to remember. So what you do, you take a piece of paper and you draw the shape of a heart. You put it against your heart, <laughs> yeah, and just use a pencil to indicate the left. For so that is your left hand. And when you put it down on your paper, it will be very clear to you that that is the left side and that is the right side. It's important to work out which part because the left ventricle is much more muscular than the right ventricle. That's because the left ventricle is where the heart, the heart pumps blood through the major artery, the aorta, to send it to the rest of the body. And because blood that is pushed from the left ventricle needs to get to the most distant part of your body like your legs is a very far journey that the blood needs to travel with oxygen because it needs to travel over such a long distance it needs to pump blood at a very high pressure therefore the left ventricle is much more muscular much more muscular than the right ventricle i put an s there thinking i've labeled the two together because i did say the two there but this is the ventricle that's the atrium that's the atrium and that's the ventricle now the next thing you need to know are the valves the aqa specification says you need to know them i know almost all the specification all the exam board requires you to know them as well we'll start with the vena cover you have the superior vena cover right which brings blood, it's a vein, so it brings blood into the heart and, and it brings it from the upper part of the body. And then this inferior vena cava brings blood from the lower part of the body into the heart. Remember, when blood comes into the heart, it goes first into the atrium and then from there it's pushed into the atrium, into the ventricle from the atrium before it is pushed out of the heart again. Then you need to know about the aorta. The aorta is the major artery that takes blood away from the heart. By the way, I also have a way of helping students to remember. You have veins. <coughs> this pen um, has had enough. You have veins and you have arteries. All right, these are the blood vessels that take blood into and out of the heart. Sometimes under exam conditions, students struggle and don't uh, know how to remember which is which. I just say, look at the first letter, A. A stands for away. So arteries take blood away from the heart and you're left with veins. What do they do? They bring blood into the heart. I hope that makes it easy for you to remember. So the aorta is the major um, artery that takes blood away from the heart to the rest of the body. Then you have the pulmonary veins. These pulmonary veins, they bring in blood that is oxygenated, blood that's rich in oxygen into the left atrium and from there it is pushed into the ventricle and then out through the um, aorta. Obviously my diagram doesn't show that connection very well but that is connected from the ventricle into the aorta and then pushed into the rest of the body. Then the same way you have the pulmonary artery which takes blood away from the heart to the lungs. Now the blood that comes into the 
upper atrium, the right atrium, by yeah, the, through the vena cava, is blood that is deoxygenated. That is blood that is very rich in carbon dioxide. Because when blood carries oxygen around the body, it also picks up CO2 and as waste material and it has to go to the lungs where it is exhaled out of your mouth and your nose. Now that blood is very high, has a very high level content of CO2 which is the gas that we exhale when we breathe out and that is carried, that must first of all stop, have a stop at the heart because the heart is the organ that pumps blood around the body including taking it to the lungs for it to be oxygenated again, pick up oxygen again if you like. So that is a very simplified diagram. The last thing I want to look at before I move away from here are the valves. The AQA says you're not required to remember the names of the valve, but it's very important to remember the function of the valves. Now, the valves occur between the atrium and the ventricle, and they play the role of preventing backflow of blood. So when blood is pushed from the atrium into the ventricle, these valves ensure that the blood does not flow back into the atrium, it must go through the, um, at the, the, the ve uh, blood vessels as it is required. All right, I'm going to then put up this list that I have drawn up or have written up to just explain the functions in a very simplified form. So I have written here, the aorta carries blood to the rest of the body. And the pulmonary artery carries blood to the lungs. The pulmonary vein brings uh, blood from the lungs into the heart. You have the vena cava, the superior one, which brings blood in from the upper part of the body, upper body, and the inferior vena cava brings in blood from the lower body. And I have written here, valves are important because they prevent backflow of blood because they open and shut in only one way, in one direction. All right, now that I have done that, I want to just explain the very important formula that you need to remember. There is one last thing about the heart from the AQA specification that I pulled up. Remember, this is a quick overview. If you have any questions, you can ask me. I'm doing this as a request uh, that I was asked to uh, uh, put to me by um, one of my uh, people subscribers said I should do this so cardiac output is very important this is the formula that you need to know the cardiac output can be calculated the cardiac output can be calculated by this simple formula which is equal to stroke actually uh, the unit is uh, liters per minute and then is a multiplication between the stroke volume and the heart rate. The stroke volume times the heart rate. Okay, this is the last uh, of the beat I want to say. And that one is liters per beat. Liters per beat and obviously the rate is beats per minute. Beats per minute all right when you have uh, questions that ask that they ask you to calculate the cardiac um, output that is how to calculate that uh do that calculation by the way the cardiac output is uh is the volume of the blood pushed into the aorta each minute the volume of blood that's pushed into the aorta each minute is the cardiac output and the stroke volume is the volume of blood that's pushed into the aorta in each beat each beat that is the stroke volume the heart rate obviously is the number of times a heart beats per minute that's the easiest for students to remember number of beats per minute is the heart rate and the stroke volume is is uh, the volume that's pushed into the aorta in each beat which is a stroke volume and the cardiac output is actually the volume of blood pushed into the aorta each minute so when you have this formula you can work out a simple calculation and on uh, there is a very uh, simple question here that I am gonna um, solve for you and that would bring us to the end of this uh, what you need to know about the heart if you need anything else you let me know this question says calculate calculate you're giving the 
cardiac output of the heart rate that pumps at 0 0.83 liters of blood every 59 times. It's a very simple calculation. When you do that calculation, remember you allow the calculator, your answer is going to be 4.9 liters per minute. A minute liters per minute to this is calculated to two significant figures may I just quickly remind you that when you do your calculations in science please I beg of you check how many significant figures you are asked to reduce it it could be two it could be three and if you have a number such as if that was your calculated um, answer say for instance eight nine and you're asked to reduce this to two significant figures it would uh three significant figures it would have been you you reduce uh you okay hang on a minute if this was your answer eight nine and you were asked to reduce it to two significant figures then you needed to round this down to round this up to nine and it would then be 4.9 two significant figures one two so you have to be very careful to watch out for how many significant figures you are allowed to, you are, you're requested to leave your answer as. And whatever you do, it's a new week. We're getting closer and closer to the exam. B1 is round the corner. It's just a few days. I was doing the countdown in class today. I think we just have, uh, yeah, about, uh, we have, it's on the 15th of May. So if you can, tomorrow is the 1st of May. We have... Let we have just about 15 days before we take the paper but whatever you do keep keeping positive keep saying to yourself i can do this and by the way i've done this because the student said i should do it i'm have i have a few more to do as well that i've been i've been asked to do and i'll do them and i you remember that you can make it you can do it i say it and i laugh when i say it because i know it is true keep revising keep keeping positive because you can god bless